Hello and welcome to another video on congruence. And in the last video, we looked at three different combinations of angles and sides. Um, so for example, we looked at two triangles that had the same three side lengths. So side, side, side. We looked at the angle, side, angle combination and also the side, angle, side combination. And we established that uh, all three of these are congruency axioms. So what I mean by that is if we're given two triangles that have the same side, angle and side in that particular order, then we know for sure that those two triangles are congruent. And likewise, if we're given two triangles that have the same angle, side and angle, those two triangles are congruent. And it also works if we have two triangles that have all three of the same side lengths. So we're going to finish this off in this video. We're going to look at two more combinations. One of them is the angle, angle, angle combination. And the other one is the angle, side, side combination, which is one I always find highly amusing. So the first combination I'm going to test is the angle, angle, angle combination. So I'm first of all going to start off by drawing a triangle that has a base of two centimeters. And now the first angle I'm going to construct is going to be a 90 degree angle, just to keep things simple. So I can see that this is 90 degrees, so I'm just going to put a mark there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the height of my triangle 3 centimetres. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to draw a 3 centimetre line. And you can see that it is in line with our 90 degree angle. So this angle here is a right angle. And this length is 3 centimetres. And then finally, just to connect the two um, points together, I can get my line tool out. I can draw a line that connects those two points. So I've constructed my triangle. Let's first of all measure these two angles because I know this one's 90 degrees. So I've put my protractor at this point. Now the angle, it looks like it's between 30 and 40. It's slightly closer to 30. So I'm going to say that's 34 degrees. So this angle is 34 degrees. Now because we know this is 90 degrees, we can take those away from 180. So therefore this angle here should be 56 degrees. Now I'm just going to check it anyway just to make sure. So I've put my protractor at this point and the angle, well it's between 50 and 60 and it's slightly closer to 60 so I yes I would say that that is 56 degrees. So we've constructed our first triangle. Now I'm going to construct another triangle with the same three angles. Now if I do that will the triangles be identical? Now, the short answer to that is no, they may not be identical. They could be, but I could draw another triangle with the same three angles, but just a bigger version. I could just scale the triangle up and I'll show you that that works. So let's draw another triangle and I'm going to scale this triangle up by a scale factor of three. So I'm going to make the base three times as big. So that's going to be six centimeters and I'm going to make the height three times as big. So that's going to be nine centimeters. And we can see we've got the protractor on the point here. And if we look at the angle, well, it's exactly 34 degrees. So I've done really well there. So that is 34 degrees. And let's just check this angle. And once again, we can see that this angle here, it is also exactly 56 degrees. So if someone says, I've got two triangles, they have the same angles, all three angles are the same. Does that mean that they are identical or congruent? then you could say no, not necessarily. They could be, but you can just see that one could just be a scaled up version of the other. So what we can say from this is that AAA is not a congruency axiom. Okay, now the last combination we're going to look at is angle side side. And if you think this is a bit too rude, then you could also say side side angle. These are exactly the same. I've just read it from right to left. So I've constructed a triangle uh, with a 60 degree angle over here, and then an 8.8 .8 centimeter line, and then a 7.8 centimeter line. So the question is, can I construct a different triangle that has these three dimensions that are the same? So first of all, let's construct our 60 degree angle. So this is 60 degrees. So if I just put a point there, and now we need to um, draw a line that goes through this point, which is 8.8 .8 centimeters. So if I start off here and draw my line that is 8.8 .8 centimeters, so that goes up to here. And if I take away my ruler, so let's mark that in 8.8 .8 
centimeters and we know that this is 60 degrees so now i've got my two angles that are the same i've got my two side lengths that are the same now my last side length that i need to draw in can i draw a one that is also 7.8 centimeters but it does not go in this direction and the answer is yes so first of all let's just draw in what this would look like if i were to connect uh, these two points here okay then we should also have a 7.8 centimeter line but there is also another line i could draw in that would also be 7.8 centimeters so if i line up 7.8 centimeters instead of going to the left i can go to the right so notice how this length is also 7.8 centimeters so if i take my take away, take away my ruler this length here was 7.8 and we've just measured this length here is also 7.8 centimeters so we've actually constructed a different triangle so this base length it didn't matter what this length was we weren't we wasn't told what this length was as long as we've got a 60 degree angle which we've got here we've got an 8.8 .8 centimeter line which we've got here and we've got a 7.8 centimeter line which we've got here so instead of just going to the left we're going to the right so this triangle i'll just shade uh, i'll just outline this whole triangle in red just so you can see so this triangle here we can clearly see that they are not congruent they are completely different but they do have the same dimensions so if we go back to the ass then this is not a congruency axiom now with this combination of ass we wouldn't know for sure whether the two triangles are congruent but there is one exception to the rule and that is if the angle is exactly 90 degrees so we, if we have a right angle um, then we could say that they are congruent and i'm just going to finish off by showing you why that's the case so here is a right angle triangle which we said was the exception to the rule so we've got angle side side now with this particular triangle because it's a right angle we cannot construct another triangle with the same three bits of information and the reason for that is because if we tried to if we try to draw a different line instead of this line that goes down here if we were to try to draw a different line no matter how we draw it and you see that it's all it's never going to be the same length as our vertical line so this here we can see here it's much longer it's getting closer and closer but the only way to get this length here, which I measured is eight centimeters, is to go straight down. As soon as we deviate, can you see that it's going to be greater than eight centimeters? Okay. So, and exactly the same if we go this way. This is always bigger than eight centimeters. So, to get exactly eight centimeters, the only way we can go is straight down. So, that's why it's the exception to the rule. And you might also um, hear it referred to as the RH. S axiom okay, the R H X axiom so R stands for the right angle let's just write this down the H stands for the hypotenuse and the S well that just stands for another side length so, so and it doesn't matter if we've got this one or this one um, as long as we've got a side the hypotenuse of our right angle triangle and a right angle then we know that um, this uh, the two triangles will be congruent so generally ass uh, we don't know if they're congruent or not we can't say for sure unless we have a right angle so just to summarize everything we've gone through over the last two lessons we've established three congruency axioms um, that we can use to prove that two triangles are congruent the sss the asa and the sas and then in this video we just i just showed you that uh, the aaa combination and the ass combination are not congruency axioms but there was an exception to the ass rule and that was that if the angle that you're given which was part of the ass if that angle is a right angle then that would change to a yes so what we're going to do in the next few videos is we're going to apply this knowledge of congruency um, and we're going to answer some uh, some questions on and we're going to try and prove using the information that we've been given that two triangles are congruent. Hopefully I will see you then. Take care.